What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to another Best Bet Show. It's been too long. It's been way too long. We're happy to be back. Uh, and I guess now no more interruptions. Vacations are pretty much done. Going to coast and finish out this baseball season until football starts. And then when football comes around, we're going to change the schedule of the shows for football days, obviously. But appreciate you guys sticking around for baseball season and going through the props with us. Austin, how the hell have you been? Love your hockey jersey, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. I've been good, though. i uh been busy, like you said. A lot of traveling for both of us, honestly. And with baseball, man, the scheduling is just so difficult, especially with three four days of the week, games starting so early. It's tough to get videos out, especially with the lines moving and lines don't come out until three hours before the first pitch, you know? So with NFL, I'm excited to see how the show goes. I think it's going to excel, and I think our content is going to be great because we can have a structure and the lines come out the week prior, you know? So yeah. it's it's definitely a positive outlook. I'm super excited for it. Other than that, I'm doing well. Yeah, uh, it's good to be back. Um, we have two plays today. Keeping it light because of the trade deadline. Remember, guys, be careful with what you bet on today um, because some teams, and you should know by now by reading the reports, who's probably selling some people, who's you know going to get rid of some people, some guys. You kind of know who the targets are. There may be some surprise guys, but for the most part, um, be wary of those teams if you're betting on them. You don't want to bet on a team and then realize they traded away two of their top five players not in the lineup anymore. So just be cautious. We do have two plays, though. We both are on Sandy um, over hits allowed. Um, it's too juiced now, so we, we made a little pivot for the show for our hitter prop. It's going to be Bryce Harper over 1.5 hits, runs, and RBIs. And the reason for this is that, you know, like we like we, like we said with Sandy's hits allowed, He's had eight plus, I think, in like four of the five starts versus Philly. Yeah, the um, last in, five. He's done in seven of the last uh, ten games overall regardless, but Philly just hits him very well. They're very familiar with his with his stuff, and they see him very often. I'm talking 30-plus ABs for a lot of these guys. Bryce Harper bats 306, 11 for 36 with the home run uh, versus Sandy, and he's kind of in the middle of that lineup where – he can get a run and also get an RBI. So hit can score a run, or if he gets on, he can, he can get hit home by the guys behind him. So that's basically it. Austin, you want to add anything else for that play? Yeah, and I, I really like it as well. It's kind of like you said, all these guys have seen 30 plus at bats. Seven of the hitters have seen 30 plus. So you got guys like Schwarber, Trey Turner batting one and two. Schwarber can walk a little. Trey Turner, I think, is going to have a huge day. I have him to get a hit today as well. So it's kind of a good spot with Harper because those guys should be on the pond. I also like the protection behind him. If Harper gets walked, you know what I mean? You got up, upside for a run. Harper likely not going to hit the homer, but a hit in an RBI or a hit in a run just seems very doable today in this spot, especially with his prior success. Yeah, um, I love this play. I think I think you could honestly play three, maybe two, maybe three guys in this game, and maybe they'll they'll just domino affect each other. If you do like Trey Turner, Bryce Harper, and like an Alec Bohm or Castellanos, you could probably, you might be able to cash it in the same inning. Dude, even Real Amuto is batting 290 and 30 something at bat. Yeah. Like all, all these guys, you could, I mean, you could make an art. Bryson Stott, 24 at bats, 265 hitter. So, like, definitely a lot of pivots you could go, but I think Harper is probably the best spot just being the third hitter. Yeah, I agree. Um, agree 100%. So that, that's our hitter prop. And we're going to go to our pitcher prop, which Austin has already mentioned uh, earlier in the day. And that is Brian Bello over 17 or Brian. Is it Brian Bayo? Brian Bello? I don't even know. Yeah. I've heard it. It's, it's like the Luis Robert, Luis Robera thing where I have no idea what it actually is. Um, but over 17 and a half outs, Austin can get into it first and I'll close this one. Yeah. Bello, Bayo, the dude has been a warrior, honestly, in the last two months. Eight of his last nine starts, he's gone over this number. 10 of 17 on the season. So clearly he's shown progression from the start of the year to now. The dude is an inning eater. They love him. He pitches ahead, throws strikes. The Mariners strike out a lot, so I'm interested to see how this one goes. Bayo's line is at 5.5 Ks, which he hasn't hit in the last five games. Kind of hoping he doesn't strike out a ton. I hope he just kind of puts to contact as that's kind of a, how he is as a pitcher. But I also think even if he gets six or seven Ks, he could go six innings in this spot. He uh, he went five early on the year against them, but he had five walks. He hasn't had another game over two walks, I believe, since that one. So 
it's just a spot where that was one game. I, I think he just comes out here and shoves. And usually this line you wouldn't get at 17 and a half. So I feel pretty, pretty good with it. Yeah, I'm looking to five walks. This is way too much. And he'll give three hits and one run. So if he can limit the walks and try to let them beat him, I think that's going to be the recipe for success. You know, I'm looking at his splits too. I'm seeing, you know, home road is basically even 3.3 at home, four on the road, which isn't terrible either way. But the day game and night game splits, 7.25 ERA in the day and a 2.57 ERA at night, which is what we love to see here. Um, he's had 73.2 innings pitched in 12 starts. That's 6.1 innings on average. Um, so if he's if he pitches six, goes out for the seventh, we're well beyond our reach here. Um, so that's what he averages in night games. This Mariners team could be trading to Oscar, um, could be letting some more pieces go. Um, I think that he just, you know, he gives a quality start, six innings, less than three runs here. So that's what we're on is uh, Bello over 17.5 outs. Quick little recap for you guys. Bryce Harper over 1.5 hits, runs, RBIs, and Bello over 17.5 outs. Let's go a quick little 2-0, and and then we'll be back after the trade deadline for next episode. Best luck on your bets today. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.